Hello, Dinky Doo, it's just me, Scotty McClue, with a quick Monday evening pop up live on Facebook Live to see that you are all well and behaving yourselves. Also, to ask you a very important question Do you think Scotty McClue should be on a big breakfast show on the radio in the morning on a national station? So, that's something I wanted to run past you as well. But uh, as I say, Monday evening, just a quick pop-up also to say thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you who joined us last night live on Facebook Live at 9 o'clock sharp Sunday evening. Tremendous stuff. What a great success. The program is just growing and growing and growing. And that's due to you guys. That's just how fantastic you are. So I know you're all at your evening meal. I know you're all at your tea. A lot of you will be dressing for dinner. Some of you might even be going out but I just wanted to say hi. Nivax Viteg says good evening, good evening to you. Thakur Sharma. And Helen Tolly says hiya, hiya Helen. Lovely to see you. Just a quick pop up Monday evening. Yes, should certainly get my vote, says David Hennessy. So there you are. That's the question we're asking. Would you like to listen to Scotty McCrew at breakfast time? Scotty McCrew, did you listen to that? Scotty McCrew at breakfast time in the morning on a national radio station and obviously fix my teeth so I could pronounce McClue. Excellent stuff. Hi sir, how are you? Says Thakur Sharma. I am fabulous Thakur. I just thought I'd do a quick Monday evening pop up to say hi to everyone and say thank you. Hello Laird McClue, did you miss me? We always miss you Robbie and it's very good that you are back with us. Dinky do I say. Yes, says Helen Torrey. She would listen to a big breakfast show with a national broadcaster. Excellent stuff. Mike Henfield's watching. Welcome, Mike. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, I hope you are well, sir. It's uh, 20 years this week since we started Century Radio in Manchester, right across the northwest of England. Incredible stuff. So there you are on uh, the 8th, I think it was, if I remember rightly. So we'll see if we can dig out some memorabilia for you. Good evening, Scotty. This is Jacqueline McFarlane. Good evening, Jacqueline. And a very, very warm welcome. This is just a quick Monday evening pop-up at tea time. Hello, Scotty. Listening from Leeds. I'm in a lay-by in the lorry. I hope you're well, says Richard Hill. I am, Richard. Wonderful to know that you are in a lay-by in Leeds in the lorry and you're watching Scotty McClue on Facebook live globally and internationally. Question tonight, should Scotty McClure be on national radio in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland? So that's what we're talking about as well. If you like to pop your tuppence worth in, do so. Get back in the airways, Scotty, and get Samantha back too, since Vincent Paul McPadden. Vincent Paul McPadden. We will do what we can, I always say. Scott Bean is there. I've been a busy wee boy, between Shield Inch and Craig Lang, the last few days of Robbie. Good, Robbie. You're doing your acting bit. We like that. Oi, oi, Scotty. Hello, dinky do. says Scott Beattie. Excellent, Scott. Steve Burrows is with us. So there you are. Would you listen to a national radio breakfast show in the morning, obviously, because that's when breakfast usually is, with Scotty McClue presenting it live just for you and saying, Dinky Doo. There we are, even rhymes with the station. Jeff Bernstein's watching. How are you? Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Tea Time pop up, just saying hi to all of you. No, you should be on national radio in an independent Scotland, says Ali Yogi. So there you are. Yes, indeed, the station for the nation. That would be the one, wouldn't it? Excellent stuff. Who knows what the future might bring? One never knows. Uh, we do have big radio stations in Scotland as well. Scotty should be a multimedia broadcaster on TV, radio, and the internet. Breakfast 
lunch and dinner. So nothing at tea time, Robbie. Uh, new cat today, says Marcus Caseman. Congratulations, Marcus. I hope you're enjoying it and that it fits you well, I say. So there we are. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth has popped up on your Facebook, then it's Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet with just a quick Monday night tea time pop-up to say thank you to every single one of you for watching last night. Terrific. Radio 2 would be fantastic for you, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. You need to set your alarm early, Scotty, but you'd be good to hear. Have you applied for it? Well, it's early days yet, so who knows? There's still a bit of a um, run around going on round about it. There's a media circus, a media scrum going on. Once all that calms down, we'll see if it's time to put pen to paper. So there you are. You need a tea break, Scotty, says Robbie. Excellent, Robbie. First class, yes, we do. I need to have my tea at night. So breakfast, mid-morning, and lunchtime presentation on television, radio, and the internet. I think this is what's coming. Do you ever sleep, says Marcus Caseman? All the time, Marcus. But so much to do, and we haven't even scratched the surface yet. McClue is just at the start of his learning curve. So there you go. And uh, we had somebody on trying to imply that I was old today, but uh, everybody made short shrift of that person. Uh, Craig Hunter's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClure Tea Time pop up. Just to say hi to all of you. How marvelous. Last night's program was absolutely outstanding. And for those of you who haven't seen it yet, we took a couple of calls. So you'll see me wearing a white shot in a dark tie. Nothing new there. And uh, it should be on your Facebook feeds. Um, I would prefer you on at night as it would be more interesting and a better laugh in the morning. Everyone's brain has not woken up yet, says Scott Biddy. Well, do you not think Scotty McClue might waken their brains up? in the morning. But I see what you mean. You prefer speech broadcasting and you like when we have a serious debate or discussion or a funny debate and discussion. Kenny Trainer's watching. Colin White's watching. Willie Kay. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. So what sort of show, guys, would excite you all? For instance, when Eddie Doby Senior saying, I don't listen to Radio 2, I said, well, would you listen to Radio 2 if Scotty McClue was on it? Yes, he said. So that's what we're looking for, that sort of idea. Colin Roger, Heather Gibson, and of course, my absolute ultimate radio hero. Sadly, no longer with us, Earthside, Terry Wogan, Sir Terry Tell. Absolutely, he was my absolute radio hero. And someday, I used to lie in bed laughing, and I thought, someday, I'd love to present the Radio 2 Breakfast Show. So there we are. So who knows? David Lafferty, Dinky Doo, and Kevin Walker. Fantastic. So there you are. Because uh, I just used to love it. And remember Jimmy Young as well. I loved when it was Terry and Jimmy Young. And then when they were joined by Ken Bruce. Fantastic. And in the morning, Ray Moore. Remember Ray Moore in the morning, the late Ray Moore. Fantastic presenters. All that sort of thing. Wonderful, wonderful. So there we go. Fun debate show that takes the make out of daily events with the phone in, says Robbie Crossan. Right, Robbie, that's the road we shall go down. Raymond Benson's watching Dinky Doo. If I can persuade somebody to take the show, then let's go for it. Sunday nights are always great with Scotty on, says Steve Burrows. So what you're saying is, if I went on Radio 2, we still need to keep the Facebook live show, because that's the big one. Karen Mercury's watching Dinky Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. You're all watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. 
I'm asking your advice here. Would you listen to Scotty McClure on national radio on a big breakfast show? Go on, Scotty. Time would you back up there where you belong, says Craig Hanton. Thank you, Craig. A lovely, lovely thing to say. I say good evening, says Karen. Good evening, Karen. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo, you're watching Scotty McClure. Quick Monday evening tea time pop-up just for all of you to say hi and to say thank you so much for last night. What a tremendous show. Whatever you decide, Scotty, don't give up on Facebook. So there we are, says Karen. No, no, not at all. So excellent stuff. We'll keep the Facebook show going because it seems to be very, very popular. I also believe it's the future of broadcasting. Once everybody becomes aware that Scotty McClure's live on Facebook Live, I think you'll see a massive migration of people to the show. Oh, jeez, just Facebook, says Karen Mercury. Listen and watch. Can have a national show and also a live Facebook broadcast at the same time. Do you know, Robbie, that's not just as wild as it seems. I think there's a market for a national radio program and Facebook Live as well, because Facebook Live is obviously global. So there you are, national radio. Well, you can get it online, you can get it on the internet, of course, but I think Facebook Live, fantastic, wonderful television. It's the future. Susan McFadden, Dinky Do, and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's Tea Time pop-up. Monday evening, nothing gets past me, you know. And uh, there it goes, Stephen Mooney, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. Come and join us and give us your chat, as they say. Give us your crack. Fantastic. Right, um, who else have we got? Graham Brown's watching, very warm welcome. Sharice has just joined us, Dinky Do, Sharice. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClure's Monday evening tea time pop-up just for you. Quick dinky do before you all push off for the evening. Councillor Henry Anderson, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us and a warm welcome, I say. Now, guys, can we have a share? Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClure is live now. Good evening, Scotty. Hi, Sir Sean Michael Martin. Hi, Sean Michael Martin. How are you this evening? Just going to have a quick look round the side of you there, guys. Guys, just to see what's going on and uh, see if we're on here and then we can do a little bit of sharing. Scotty, you were fantastic on Scott FM at Clan FM uh, with the late John Manning and Susie Wang. Uh, you're the legend. Keep up the fantastic work. JB says hi. Hi, JB. Frankie Pilkey Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. I was just thinking about you. We need a lot more of your wisdom and your um, your contribution on the web and on the internet and in broadcasting. Cheer, cheer. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Robbie. Have you tried the FaceTime calls, Scotty, when you get to see your fans and followers? I did think about that, but I wasn't sure if people would be comfortable with the visuals. I don't mean looking at me. My coupon, they've seen it all before, you know what I mean? Uh, still waiting on my friend request being accepted, says Sean Michael Martin. You might have to wait a while, Sean Michael Martin. It's extremely, extremely busy on there. What you can all do is follow me live on the Facebook Live page. That would be excellent if you want to do that. That would be tremendous. Am I very dark at the moment, I wonder? Uh, Craig Gallagher, dinky do, And uh, Sid Devine is watching. Welcome, 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 I say. Scotty McClure with a quick Monday evening tea time pop-up just for you to say dinky do. Right, I'm going to share, guys. Don't know about you, but I am just going to share. Uh, there are over 2,000 of you joined me last night. Fantastic. 10,000 of you joined me the other night. Two and a half million of you have joined me from the start. So how can I phone in then? Uh, messenger. No problem at all. <coughs> Nothing wrong with the visuals, says Robbie Crossan. No, but remember, Robbie, you're an experienced performer. There are other people that might think, oh, I don't want to be seen. They just freak out when they're in front of the camera. Do you know what I mean? Um, Sean, via Messenger, says Karen. Absolutely. 
Get on with that. I see. Now, let me see if we can do a little bit of sharing here. We'll get that sorted. So I'm just refreshing the page. Uh, you can't unless you're a friend. So Sean McAmountain, is that right? Right, I'll check that one out for you. Maria Thompson, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Now then, what have we got going on here? I see. Wonderful stuff. Excellent. Yes, I'm just going to do a little bit of sharing, guys, as I say. If you can do the same, that is always tremendous stuff. There we go. We do appreciate. We do appreciate. 2468, who do we appreciate? Wonderful. And um, so get that sorted out. That'd be fantastic. I mean, at your end, it's bright enough. It's bright enough here. Can you see me okay? Absolutely. Uh, yes, very dark. So there we are. Do you still see Bill McKim? I haven't seen Bill for a while. Why is it dark, I wonder, guys? It shouldn't be dark. So there we go. We've got stacks and stacks of light on. So you should be able to see that. Yes. Uh, Stephen Menzies. Is it dark, guys? Does it look very dark tonight? And if so, I wonder why. So there we are. Helen Ennis is watching, a very, very clever lady. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. Sorry, Sean, my brain isn't in gear, says Karen. Of course it is, Karen. Your brain is always in gear. Tell me if what you're seeing is a little bit dark, guys, will you? Um, I can't understand why, but uh, I'm not sure if my brightness is up. Shared, Scotty. All good, Karen. Wonderful stuff. So there we are. Am I looking shadowy? It's getting bright. Ah! That's a bit strange, isn't it? So something's happening there. Something not right. Let's see what we can get going. I wonder why that is. Um, I'll try. Yes, that's very weird. So I sit back and it looks a little bit brighter. Excellent. So, right, we maybe have a problem with the camera adjusting. Adjust your camera settings in preferences. Can I do that live on air? Or do I need to start going and doing something else? So, there we are. D girly, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, Nicola James watching. Excellent stuff. No problem at all. It's Scotty McClure. It's the Monday tea time pop up just for you, dinky do. Do I have preferences? And settings, it's when I do something, it suddenly goes bright again. Have you noticed that? So there we are. I'm just wondering, what. Uh, where do I find all that? Where can I start on settings while we're live? Or is that just being silly? We can still see your coupon, says John Adams. Okay, John, no problem at all. But it's not as bright as normal. Light another corner says Robbie Crossan. So there you are. I can remember when a school got taken round, there was a Glasgow shipyard called Connells, and a school got taken round it, and somebody said, where did you go? And they said, we went to Connells. He said, that's not polite, it's candles. So there you go. Um, Hi, Stephen Dinky-Doo, says D. Hello to you, Scotty, says Jim Wilson. Wonderful stuff, Jim. And Dinky-Doo, I wonder if I light the lamp behind, if that might help. So, uh, shall we try it? I wonder. Is that any help? Or is it just as dark? Excellent stuff. What if I put out one of the lights? Maybe the camera is struggling to adjust because there's too much light. No? Is that any help? Not really. What about that? No? Too much? What about that? that any better, guys? Can you see my coupon? Can you get a swatch at McClue's coupon? Let's do that, and we'll see what is what. Hi, John, how are you? All right, they're having a conversation. So we can just leave them to have a conversation. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue with a Monday evening tea time pop-up live on Facebook Live. It's your tan, Scotty. Yes, I'm absolutely tanned. So there we go. Who put the light suits? Says so Sharice. We're just trying something, Sharice. We feel that it looks a wee bit dark. And maybe it's something to do with camera settings, but I don't want to start mucking about during a live broadcast. So there you are. Can see you fine, Scotty, says Karen Mercury. Excellent, Karen. And is it bright enough? So there you are. A power cut, 
So Sharice, so there are, no, 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 Sharice, don't get excited. We mustn't get Sharice too excited. I've said this before. Cammy West, Dinky Drew, Andy Drummond, excellent, lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome. Scott and Clues Tea Time pop up just for you to say hi. Also, we're discussing, should I be applying to appear on national radio at breakfast time. So there you are. That's what we're talking about. Planet Perfecto, John. Would you listen to Scotty McClue on a big national FM station at breakfast time? That's it. What's for tea tonight, Scotty? I don't know, John Adams. You'll have to ask your missus. So there you are. I am not your keeper. Stick 50p in the meter, says Scott BD. Thanks, Scott. Very nice. So there we are. We can look at all that, of course. And a warm welcome to all of you. I also want to say thank you. Thank you for joining me last night at nine o'clock sharp on the big one. A tremendous show last night. We took a couple of calls via messenger. So there we are. Stick another shilling in the meter. Uh, meter spelt wrong there. M-E-T-E-R, Robbie. You've put M-E-T-R-E as in a meter of length. Uh, Biddle, please stop. It slows the stream. Uh, Sharice, too many emojis. Um, I'm asking you, says John. Oh, sorry. What am I having for tea? Oh, excellent. I do understand. Uh, tea time tonight. I think we'll have a wee bit of toast and we'll put on a very famous national drink at football matches. Just a little smear of that on the toast. So there you go. Excellent stuff. I'm in Bulgaria for a week, Scotty, says Jenny McGark. Are you watching Scotty McClure in Bulgaria? We'll call you Uncle Bulgaria. Uh, unfortunately, I'm busy at breakfast time. I like the time on here. If it was evening, I would certainly listen. But Karen, I'm sure we could. You could multitask. I mean, how busy do you have to be to not listen? So there we are. Perhaps it could be put on in your busy place. Uh, autocorrect gets my spelling wrong all the time. I prefer a nighttime Scotty. It's more X rated, says Cammy West. Cammy West. Tut, 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 tut. Uh, Jinbe, your lovely darling, dark or bright, says David Lafferty. Jinbe says, I am lovely dark or light. Uh, me and Scott McPhee just choked. And a couch is Sean Michael Martin. Sean, you need to be very, very careful with that. Yes, you know, any mention of the word couch, and there's usually a lifetime ban. So there we are. Excellent. Robbie, you should have went to Specsavers. No, he should have gone. He shouldn't have went, you know. If he'd went, that he, then he would have actually gone. And then we could have said he went Two spec savers. Do you see what I mean? So there we are. Just getting all the tenses right for you. Very, very important. Right, we've got another five minutes, guys. Tell us what's what. Our specs are in the car. So, Robbie, so there you are. Excellent. Not a speck to be seen. Not a speck of dust either. Fantastic. I wonder where that came from, a speck of dust. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Uh, a lifetime ban because I said the word couch. You're an idiot says Sean Michael Martin. There we are. You're heading for a lifetime ban. So there we are. Egypt or no Egypt. I can tell you that. Is this an English lesson, says John Adams? Yes. Yes, it is. Every time Scotty McClure talks is a lesson in language or literature. Excellent stuff. Red card, Scotty, for him. Haven't they got a red card? I don't know if we've still got a yellow card here. We could use a yellow card. Yellow card. Yellow card at uh, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Monday to Friday would be good, says Charles McLaughlin. What, on a national radio station or on Facebook Live? Send Scotty off, says John Adams. No, no, send Scotty on to keep the peace. That's why we've got the card system here. Very, very important. Thomas Hamilton's watching Dinky Do. A very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's Monday evening tea time pop-up just for you. Ben Lucas is watching Dinky Do, Ben. I'm no English, says Robbie Cross. No, but you will, I believe, understand the Queen's English, Robbie. I would imagine. You'll have an understanding. Um, evening, Scotty. Who's that in the photo behind you? Surely it can't be you, Stuart Smith. 
It is me. There we are. That's it. There's a mould, McClue. Uh, me neither. I'm Scottish. Yes, you're Scottish, but we speak English. That's the national language. So there it goes. It's a term. It's not referring to the country. Uh, the police now have powers to stop motorists and check eyesight, Scotty, and revoke their licence on the spot. Would you agree? Yes, anything that's dangerous to other road users. Jim, I would agree. Big style. Uh, you can't lifetime ban people. Uh, you're not the lord of the internet, Sir Sean Michael Martin. It's a made-up phrase. Sean Michael Martin, I am the first lord of the internet, and you are heading for a lifetime ban. Shall we ban Sean Michael Martin, everybody? Do let us know. No, I speak Scots and Gaelic. Yes, but you also speak English. I've heard you. Uh, no, I speak Scottish. Yes, but you also speak a, a little bit of English as well, Sharice. Maybe just a morsel. So there you are. Me to Robbie. Yes, I speak gibberish, says John Adams. Yes, we understand that, John. You're not the only one I have to say in your defence. And there we are. Andrew Wishmaster Williams. Hello, Scotty. Scotty is a laird, not a lord. The first laird of the internet. Red card, Scotty. Yeah, give him the red card. It'll have to be yellow. What I might do, I'll put red on it. I wonder if I could write it backwards. I wonder if I can do that. Um, so there we are. Let me see if I can write this backwards so that it appears correct on your screens. If I hold that up, oh, you beauty. I have written that backwards. Because, um, you know, I knew the camera wouldn't be able to do it. So there we are. And what do I put here? Let's see if I can do this backwards as well, guys. Okay. Uh, not an easy thing to do. Right. How does this look? Oh, you beauty. Scotty McLean not just writes and speaks English. He can write backwards. Excellent. Because otherwise the camera would reverse that, you see. So there we go. Damn it, Williams. Thank you, dude. Red card sent off. We're sent him off. Right, so are we sending Michael um, thingamy thingamy off? Right. Excellent. Decided. Good evening, pal. How's your day? So Thomas I'm Oh, God. So Sharice. Sharice, do not blaspheme. We have people watching. You wrote it backwards. I did. I did. Are you writing red in English or Spanish? So there we are. No, I've written this backwards, guys. How clever am I? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not meaning to boast, but I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with myself there. Is that off, Sir Charisse? He will be off, Charisse. He's still on at the moment. If he comes on and cheeks up again, lifetime ban. Excellent. And we've already shown him something we're all very proud of. The red card. Excellent stuff. Oh, by Jing. Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. Are you my main man? Says Scott McPhee. Scott McPhee, it would appear so. Tremendous. You're bullying me with everyone else. We're not bullying you. Bullying is building you up. So we are. We're, we're bullying you up. So we're training you, Sean Michael Martin, not to cheek up. Excellent. You're a magician, says John Adams. Absolutely. John Adams, you mustn't blaspheme. We've got people watching there. But that is pretty clever. I wrote that backwards so that it looks fine on camera. This is absolutely amazing. I wonder what else we could write backwards so uh, it looks fine on camera. Let me try another one. I've got the hang of this now, you see. And uh, I'm beginning. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm beginning to... Uh, I'm just wondering how to do this now. Um, oh, dear. I don't know if this will look right or wrong. That's the thing. What does this look like? Yes. Yes, it does. Right, so uh, let's let's carry on in this vein and see what we can do. And by vein, I say I am very vain for what I have written here. I think this is dashed clever. Why don't you tell the truth? So there we go. Who's that? Sean Michael Martin. Right, lifetime ban for Sean Michael Martin. Are we ready? 
Whee! There we are. You will never, ever hear from Sean Michael Martin again. He's gone. Red card. Oh, hang on. Yes, that's it. Upside down. Thank you, do. No, I haven't quite got that right. So we have to sort this one out. Sort this one out. Yay! Excellent stuff. Right. So there we are. So that's um, that's uh, Sean Michael Martin. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious, says Robbie Crossan. Fair point, Robbie. Absolutely excellent stuff. So there we go. Who else have we got here? Somebody else checking up. Where's that come from? Yes. Scott McPhee, yes, he's away. So there we are. He's banned, Scott McPhee, he's banned. Keep on practicing, Scotty. I will. I'll be up all night now learning to write backwards for the camera. How fantastic is that? Running through my veins, says Sharice. Don't run through your veins, dear. You'll, you'll, you'll block them. Scotty for the Radio 2 position, says Stephen Menzies. I thank you, Stephen Menzies. Very, very much appreciated. And dinky-doo. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet. This is the big one. And, of course, I am the world's top broadcaster. We're live on Facebook Live. So there you are. Uh, can you feel the passion, says Neely Davy Cooper McCallum. I think we all feel the passion. Absolutely fantastic. Now, would you listen to Scotty McClue on a national radio breakfast show in the weekday mornings? So in other words, you'd be waking up to me at 7 o'clock, 7 till 9, or whatever, whatever hours we do. They always say practice makes perfect. I agree with that. I think it does. Here, it's time I wasn't here. What a fantastic Monday tea time pop-up, guys. Been lovely, lovely, lovely to see every single one of you. Thank you for getting me to write upside down and back to front. Swatch, Scotty, you're glowing. I am glowing a tiny bit. Um, welcome to Art Attacks, says John Adams. I'd listen any time, says Robbie. Robbie, take care of yourselves. Gordon Irvin's watching. Dinky do, Gordon. Lovely to have you with us. Um, and uh, no, Robbie, says so Sharice. John Cunningham's just joined us. What a busy, busy time. My goodness me, I've got to dash the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of Rita Zane, au revoir, and a cheerio. Dinky doo, Scotty, have a great evening. Dinky doo, Robert Rankin, lovely to have you with us. And seven to nine's too late, Scotty. I'm on my way to work at four thirty a.m. It would have to be then, says Stuart Smith. Dinky doo.